Active suspension systems have had a reputation for being challenging to service over the past 25 years. Whether you're servicing a pickup truck with active dampeners and air ride, or a luxury sedan with hydraulic dampeners, these systems have faced their fair share of criticism from technicians over the years. However, the active control systems in these suspensions share a lot in common. Let's dive into how these systems work, their components, and the latest advancements in active suspension technology. Active suspension systems have come a long way since they were first introduced for performance vehicles. They're now fit to react to various chassis and driver inputs. Over the past 25 years, we've seen systems that can adjust dampeners, pneumatic springs, and even sway bars. And with the rise of EVs and hybrids, active suspension systems will be even more, well, active. There are three things active suspension systems need to do. First, they have to act on information from the ABS, stability control, and even ADOS systems. They also need to measure body movement and detect the rate of suspension movement or wheel position. With these three pieces of information, the suspension can actively adjust compression and rebound. Throw in other inputs like vehicle speed and GPS data, and you've got a suspension system that can do so much more. Active shocks and struts can change compression and rebound on the fly using hydraulic, magnetic, or air ride systems. By controlling fluid flow between chambers or through the piston, these units can manage both body motion and suspension movement. The latest active suspension technology is active sway bars. This technology, first introduced in the early 2000s, features anti-sway bars that can change stiffness to control lateral weight transfer and body roll. The system not only adjusts the bar, it also can completely disconnect it. Various manufacturers have jumped on the active sway bar bandwagon, each with their own unique spin on the technology. Some systems use electric motors for fast adjustments, while others allow drivers to disconnect the front anti-sway bar without leaving the vehicle, often used in off-roading situations. The latest active sway bar systems are also taking advantage of the electrification trend. For example, some manufacturers use two brushless DC motors attached to the torsion bars. These can act as a bar to control body movements, but they can also work with the air ride system to apply active force to the suspension. These systems can make a vehicle corner flat and even lift one side of the vehicle if it detects a possible side collision. When it comes to active suspension tech, the control module is the brains behind the operation. It doesn't just rely on wheel and body movement data. Rather, it's constantly sharing information with the ABS, engine control module, and instrument cluster, communicating over high-speed CAN buses or even fiber optic networks in some luxury vehicles. The control module can do some pretty cool things with this information. For example, it can minimize issues like nosedive during braking, torque steer and understeer on front wheel drive vehicles. And if your customer's vehicle is equipped with an air suspension, it can fine tune both the air springs and dampeners for optimized ride quality and control. The next time you're diagnosing a vehicle with active suspension, remember that you're not just dealing with shocks and springs. You're working with a system that's constantly adapting to provide the best possible ride and handling. For more tire and service videos, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Christian Hinton, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.